as I said, you know, when we started looking at some of the Dolphin projects and why gave it a notorious uh, kind of feature, or what was it that kept the regulators uh, always uncomfortable, or you know, the banks always uncomfortable, is that firstly, uh, you know, I mean, there were a ton of problems. Firstly, the you know infrastructure that you required to uh, be part of such a network were really, really intensive. Like it was capital intensive. It was uh, it was intensive in terms of you know the resources that you need. So firstly, we have you know we have reduced that part. It is this is a network that uses a very very light hosting environment. This doesn't cost you more than fifty US dollars a month or something to host your node. You can host it even on as little as a, as your you know computer or even you can use your existing cloud infrastructure to host it. Uh, not just that, you are able to integrate uh, this network with your existing, uh, you know, the origination platforms or settlement systems or whatever data sources or integration points in terms of API that you have. So, uh, and you can mask off that layer. You can keep that uh, private and yet at the same time have only verifiable, uh, you know, hash of the information or confirmation that you, you want to pass to the other party. So that's one of the major features. In fact, uh, if you search Google for hybrid blockchain, uh, Zenfin's uh, name will come up. And we designed this after a lot of interaction uh, with, with the actual market participants. What you need is for, so obviously for originators, there's, there's no requirement to be an org. Uh, you can just pass on your, uh, you can distribute your, uh, you know, loan assets to the network uh, through simple APIs uh, by using some other, you know, or or a or a proxy node. But it's mandatory for funders to actually be part of a governance or or the master node or the you know council of this network. So you either have to be a master node for which once you want to be part of the network, there's a staking required. There's 10 million of the XDC coins that you have to stake, but you you can stake it also if you don't want to be part of it anymore. Uh, you know, this is, comes from open market and you can sell it back on the open market. But if you want to step up your membership and if you want to be part of a much bigger involvement, whether it's a regulatory involvement or whether it's, you know, the network upgrades, whether it, it's integration with any upcoming projects around, you know, central bank digital currencies or, you know, anything that, that the bigger bodies come up with, you can do that if you are a governance node as well. The governance node uh, needs taking off 100 million NGCs, but again, this is just staking, so you can stake it or unstake it. You can opt out if you, you know, don't, don't want to be part of it. Uh, 